Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back with a new video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the biggest market crash of the year that is going on right now in NBA 2K19, my team. Now, first and foremost, I will say this. Usually, I am very, very good with predicting market crashes, and you guys know how good I am with predicting market crashes. But this market crash was literally impossible to predict. Because of the fact that today, a lot of us, pretty much the majority of the 2K community, were expecting another anniversary content dropping today. We were expecting either Opal Kevin Garnett or an Opal James Harden. But out of nowhere, you guys can see right here that 2K puts in these throwback playoff moment super packs. And they also put in these My Team Welcome packs. And between these two packs right here, this caused the biggest market crash of the year. So what I'm going to be doing in this video, guys, is talking about why, in particular, is there the biggest crash of the year? Why is the biggest crash of the year going on right now? What caused it? And I'm also going to be telling you guys how to take advantage of the biggest crash of the year right now in my team. Now, I do want to talk about a very small topic briefly in this video, and that is the topic of which cards, in particular, have the most crash which cards are affected the most upon this crash and i feel like the mo the cards affected most upon this crash are current playoff moments throwback playoff moments and current regular season moments cards i don't think there is any promo or anniversary cards that have a massive impact like obviously they're impacted but not as massive as the current playoff moments throwback playoff moments and the current regular season moments so those are the three types of card themes i feel like have the most amount of effect on this market crash these three my team packs these three my team packs of the super pack throwback playoff moments pink diamond guaranteed welcome pack and a diamond guaranteed welcome pack are the three main causes of this auction house crash right now the auction house mainly crashed around these two packs right here the Super Pack Playoff Moments had a little bit of an effect, but not as big of an effect as these two packs right here. Because you guys see that it's a guaranteed Diamond Pack and a guaranteed Pink Diamond Pack. You only need 13.7 thousand VC to open up these two packs. And pretty much the auction got flooded with a whole ton of Diamond players and a whole ton of Pink Diamond players which brought down the value of pretty much every single card in the game that's a pink diamond or lower. You guys have to look at it at this perspective. There's going to be a ton of my team players, obviously, who open up these packs. But there's also going to be people who play my park, who play my career, who play my league, who play, who play Play Now online. Literally, everybody who plays 2K that doesn't play my team is going to open up these packs because they have extra VC. You earn VC by playing my part games, by playing Pro-Am games, by playing my GM, by playing Play Now Online. Not all those players play my team, but all those players have extra VC laying around. So what they did with that VC is they simply brought it into my team and they opened up these packs because you guys can see right here, it's a welcome to my team pack. You don't need to do anything to get the pack. All you have to do is open up a brand new account, play like, nothing you just going straight into my team and you're going to be rewarded with these packs you don't have to do a single thing to make these packs appear for you you guys know what's crazy is that it got to a point today where the servers were just so bad you couldn't even load into my team and that's exactly my point there were so many people trying to open up the pack these packs right here that it like didn't even let you open up the pack sometimes I don't even know if I open it up now, like I'm recording this video at around 2 p.m. If I open up this pack right now, I don't know if I'll be able to get it because the servers might crash on me. That is exactly how many people are opening up this pack right now. So with that being said, it's we're going back to the same topic right here of everybody's opening up the pack. So it's literally just going to bring down every single card value in the game that is obviously a pink diamond and a diamond or below. Now these super pack playoff throwback moments packs had a slight effect on the auction house but not that much they mainly just brought down some of the prices of the opals like for example opal carmelo entity's price got dropped opal queen of blue bar's price got dropped opal brandon roy's price drop got dropped you guys can see right here that when we go back to the throwback playoff moments Melo yesterday was going for around 500,000 mt he is now going for around 400,000 mt galaxy opal cream of bar was going for close to 550,000 MT. 
he just ended right here for 413,000 MT. Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy was going for around 250,000, 230,000 MT. He is now going for 165,000 MT, as you guys can see right here that he just ended. So that's exactly my point. The throwback playoff moment super pass had a slight effect on my auction house, but it was mainly the guaranteed diamond and pink diamond players. Because we take a look at pink diamond moments Giannis right now, I'll filter him in the auction house. And I'm pretty sure that Pink Diamond Giannis, as I filter him right now, is going for a buy now. Yes, he is, guys. Pink Diamond Moments Giannis is going for a buy now. You guys want to know his price before today, before these packs went to market? He was going for 170,000 MT. So in a span of 24 hours, he's at a buy now, going for around 90,000 MT. So that right there is an 80,000 MT swing. If you guys had Pink Diamond Giannis and obviously held on to him from yesterday to today. I'm sorry to say this, but you're, you've lost around 80,000 MT in value of the card because his value plummeted. But now that I told you guys about the auction house crash, how it occurred, now I'm gonna be talking about how you guys can take advantage. For those of you guys who did, who has this card right here, this is just an example of Pink Diamond Giannis, it's okay because I'm gonna be telling you guys how to take advantage and how you guys can recover from this. Now there is a way to recover from this, but it's not going to happen overnight. Basically how you recover from this is hold on to your players for a few days to a week. That would be my suggestion to you guys. The perfect example of this is Giannis. I know I'm bringing him up often, but it's the perfect example that I can give you guys. Giannis's value lost 80,000 MT overnight. Now, because he lost value, that does not mean just sell him instantly before he loses more value. The auction has already crashed. What goes up is what goes down is always going to come up. The auction went down and it's going to be a matter of time before it slowly comes up. Now, will Giannis go back to 170,000 MT? Probably not, but will he go for around, you know, 100,000 MT plus? Yes, I think so. So, with that being said, I think that you guys should keep your Giannis, keep your pink diamonds, pink, keep your diamonds, you know, in a couple of days or in a few days to a week when the auction house slowly recovers and goes back up. That will be the prime time to sell your card and get the most amount of value for it if you guys want to sell them and get a new player. But now is not the, is not going to be the best time to sell your cards because of the crash. It's at an all-time low. But slowly, guys, it will steadily go back up. Now, moving on to the aspect of this video on how to take advantage of this insane market crash. Well, basically, guys, how you take advantage of it is simply buy cards that had the drop in value. Now is the prime time to buy cards, like, for example, the Pink Diamond Giannis, who lost 80,000 MT overnight. Those of you guys who were looking at a card you guys want to buy last night, say, for example, the Diamond Sabonis or even a Diamond Danny Granger, it would be a good time to get those cards now because now they're all at the all-time lowest standpoint because eventually it's going to rise back up in value. So that is the number one way I can tell you guys to take advantage of this crash is to act on it very, very fast before the market goes back up in value. Because trust me when I say this, guys, there's not going to be... So that's the number one thing I can tell you guys in terms of taking advantage of this crash is to simply buy cards now that you guys want on your team. Now is the best time to buy a card because right now, like I said, it's, it's at the all-time low. But it's, it's going to go back up. It's not going to go back up to, you know what the prices were originally before the packs came it's going to steadily go back up to a point where it's going to settle you know around in between of the all-time low point and the highest point of where it was before the pack probably going to settle somewhere in the middle in about a week or two so with that being said right now is the best time i would say to buy your cards that's how you guys should take advantage of this crash in case you guys are wondering how i'm going to take advantage of this crash i'm going to take advantage by spending around i'd say 500,000 MT to 700,000 MT on cards to upgrade my squad. I will produce a video on that later on, but for now, that's just how I'm going to tell you guys how I'm going to take advantage of this crash. After I get ready to record this video, I'm going to record another video where I'm going to be spending some MT to improve my squad, and I'm going to release that video over the weekend, but that's exactly how I'm going to take advantage of the crash is to buy players while they're at their lowest standpoint in value. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much now going to wrap up this video. In this video, I told you guys three things. What caused the auction house crash, which were the packs that 2K brought in today into my team. How you guys can recover if you guys took a hit in value. You just simply be patient. And I also told you guys how to take advantage of this crash, and that is to be aggressive on the auction block and buy cards that lost tremendous value from last night. Last night is when, you know, 2K had their card values, basically before the packs came out, before the crash. 
and now the market crashed it's at all time low now it's time to get aggressive and take a look at that auction block for players to upgrade your squad because they're at an all-time low standpoint now if you guys do have any questions upon this auction house crash feel free to leave them below in the comments you guys know i always read and respond to every single one so if you guys have any auction questions you guys need any help should i buy this card should i sell this card leave them in the comments below and trust me when i say this i do read and respond to them so yeah i really hope this video has helped you and if it did make sure you guys consider that subscribe button also drop a like would be greatly appreciated and i'll catch you guys in the next one and as always it's ybc and i'm out peace